Morning. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get to walk out here today. It was looking pretty cloudy. Still a little bit of an overcast, but don't look horrible. I think we got some rain in the forecast, but not sure. I don't really watch that news and weather and all that. I don't really watch all that, so. Well, yesterday was a crazy fiasco. I was trying to go to the bathroom and empty my bladder in our bathroom. Somehow or another, I yanked on the string on my pants and smacked my phone out of my pocket in my hoodie or something. And it went plopping right in the toilet. And as luck may have it, the toilet wasn't exactly spotless at that moment. Ugh. I reached in there and got that thing, got that phone out before you could even blink an eye. I was washing it off, throwing hand sanitizer all over it in the case. and <sighs> It seemed to be doing okay, except they had the obvious the problem that they all seem to have whenever you get them wet, and that is uh, the headphone port was goofy and it was showing that the headphones were being were in use so of course no real audio was coming through phone calls would and alarm would go off but you know outside of that there wasn't really any audio because it thought that it had the headphones plugged in but later on last night when i went to lay down to go to bed it must have dried out completely or something because it corrected itself i don't know Here on the body beat down, we just got to deal with stuff, you know? Oh, and let me go ahead and welcome you to the body beat down with me, Michael. Your amazing host. This is another episode of Walk and Talk. I've already been walking and talking and I didn't even introduce myself, the segment, the channel. Good grief. I'm professional. So, as some of you might know, if you're following my videos and stuff, uh, I do have a problem with depression for a number of years now. So, some, some days, things get a little worse than others. And a couple days ago, boy, I was having one of them days. Well, number one, my birthday was Tuesday, November 30th. I turned 50. Now, I never want anything for my birthday. I never ask for anything. Someone, People ask me, and I'm like, I don't know. Take me out to eat or something. I don't know. Bring me something to eat. Don't typically, you know, have to have nothing for my birthday. But this year was special, I turned 50. And in the back of my mind, I kind of thought, well, maybe my wife and my kids are planning something, you know? And all I wanted was for my wife and my two boys and my two granddaughters, all of us to get together and go grab something to eat and just, you know, maybe sing happy birthday to me. Just small, something small like that. I just wanted to spend time with those people. Well, let's just say that that didn't really happen. I got a couple of texts from my kids and me and my wife ended up going out to eat. So, there went my big kind of moment for my 50th birthday 
and then add on top of that like the next day just kind of had a bad day and uh you know sometimes you and your significant other might say something end up just kind of spitting something off at the spur of the moment and you just kind of get into it for that split second and it can just kind of ruin your day that kind of happened and you know it wasn't nothing major we don't ever really argue or anything about anything major it wouldn't it was just like you know nothing at all but that's all it takes sometimes to just trigger you and sometimes it gives you a completely bad day especially when you already kind of got problems you know so I had a rough day probably a couple rough days Today's Saturday, waking up, feeling good. I got my coffee, my French vanilla coffee, stewing in the old gut. My phone's working, even though the power button got ripped off in the process. I forgot to tell you that. Of course, I pulled the phone out of the toilet, and instantly I'm ripping the phone case off of it. Somehow or another, I guess I ripped the power button off on the side, the little, you know, how that happened I don't know so right now I got I took a little piece of a paper clip and kind of bent it kind of crimped it over stuck it in the little hole there where the button kind of pushes in put some tape over it and now my case is on there holding it and it's kind of working for now sort of a makeshift button I don't know good news is is i buy budget phones my phones are typically not typically they my phones are always under a hundred dollars that i buy so you know anyway beautiful day a little overcast got a little wind going i got my wind sock my wind slayer on the gopro nine i remembered this time Speaking of GoPro 9, I'm considering selling it. I think I want to go with a, a Canon GX3 or whatever it's called. I've been following those line of cameras for a few years now, and it's kind of it's kind of looked at as the one of the leading cameras, kind of for what I do. It's also good at pictures and other such things so I don't really feel like I need a GoPro at this moment and I already have a budget action camera that I used for years before I got this so it still works it does fine only thing this has that I really like and yeah the, as far as overall the, the quality is probably better than my $80 budget action camera but what I like best about this is the image stabilization. And that's really about it. It does 4K, 5K, 2K, 20K. It does. You can go in there and mess with all the settings and all the different stuff. It's a heavier built camera. It's more robust. It's It's got better processors and better all this and that and lenses. and it's It has all kind of great stuff. But the only thing I really care about is the image stabilization. <coughs> so, I don't know, I'm thinking of selling it. If you're interested, let me know. I got the remote that cost like 50, 55 dollars that I never use. Two batteries, still got the hard case that it came in. I still have the actual box and everything. I think that it came in everything manual so pretty good deal I'm thinking of selling it for 250 that's a steal
I'm not one of those that tries to price gouge though. I try to price things at a good fair price to get rid of things. You know, if you're gonna sell something, you're selling it for a reason. So. Yeah, I haven't ate yet. Today's my cheat day, so I'm kind of happy about that. I don't know what I'll have. I typically end up having like maybe a cheeseburger. But I think today I might have pizza. I got a couple <coughs> frozen pizzas up in the freezer I've had up there for a long time. Heck, I don't even know if they're still good. Today, <clears throat> today is full body workout day. I work out six days a week. I walk or spin or do both seven days a week. And pretty much every day I walk two times a day. And once in a while, I'll spin twice a day, once in a while. I mean, if you're sitting there doing nothing, you can always just jump on your bike and spin and do nothing and burn some calories while you're doing it. guys I'm not gonna bore you too much longer we've been filming now for several minutes just know that I'm pushing on the bad days are gone that I had the, some disappointments and other such things and you got to move on today's a new day <clears throat> I'm getting to wake up and fight again that's pretty good I'm gonna try to muster up the strength to do all my activities, my working out, walking and cycling and all that. Along with doing a little housework. Along with maybe playing a video game. Maybe a live stream. I have another channel. Hello, big mean dog. I have another channel where I live stream video games. And I'm also going to start uploading just uh, pre-recorded stuff too on there. Uh, game footage and just game related stuff is called old mental pickle o l d m e n t a l is one word pickle is the second word old mental pickle i'm not super active on there uh it's just there for fun so if you're interested in that kind of stuff you know look me up so anyway, guys, make sure you inspire someone today. Make sure you inspire yourself because that's very important. Whew. Set goals, realistic goals, meet those goals and uh, make yourself proud. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. We're just normal people here doing normal things, fighting the normal daily life, guys. But everyone's welcome, from us norms to the pros and everyone in between. Okay? 
you know what we're doing now you know the routine oh hey by the way check out these shirts look at these beautiful shirts get up get out get ran do it to it uh, custom shirts that spread a positive message and the body beat down which also spreads a wonderful positive message to beat this body down every day anyway yeah purchase some of them shirts man those are awesome good positive messages better than what you're gonna find out there uh, from Nike or anything else I'm positive I do positive stuff positive positive all right guys long drawn out video as usual gosh dang it get up get out get red do it to it we'll see you next time guys on the body beat down have a good day Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!